Hey, all you rusty freaks. My philosophy is trap basing should be as simple as possible because you're going to piss people off. They're going to rage you. So like my chair trap, this, this can be done with just even two squares. It doesn't need to be a whole one. I just decided to make it with uh, three foundations so it looks more like an actual base. You can make some noise around here. The trick is to put it in as busy an area as possible. You want people to find this base. You can put something shiny in front like this egg. Oh, where's the dead body? I killed myself there on purpose so that... There would be a body. Anyway, you can put something shiny in the entrance, like this rustige egg, uh, to entice people to come here. But the reason people will come is because the door's open. And they won't see the trap, because what you want to do is find yourself a very steep slope, more than 45 degrees, and build this section first, so people don't see what's attached to the roof. They might see just enough to get enticed, like a running furnace. Oh! Should I have warned you for a jump scare? <laughs> or the loot box, or that locker over there. But yes, because of the slope, they don't see the traps. And you want to put at least two, because if someone does get close and gets their legs shot, they might be able to move out of the way. It's not like a trap where you're inside. You want people to drop dead at the entrance. Meanwhile, you've got a base nearby, like let's say your main base is here, or better yet behind something that blocks the view completely and when you hear the person die you come and collect the loot and race out of there because it's never a good idea to keep your loot inside the trap base for long but uh, yeah this is as simple as it gets just a shotgun trap at the entrance it it works a treat because people don't see it beast loving mung beans bonus clip okay so that's what I was talking about you can put something to entice people it also serves a double purpose of actually blocking entrance because of the slope of the ground. If you put something that they can't pick up because they don't have TC access, they can't actually get in. Um, and here's the chair thing I was telling you. If you put any deployable in front of a chair, once a person sits down, they won't be able to get up again. That's my most basic trap. And for no other reason than it's fun, here's the new lanterns which you can put stuff in. Seems like from where you light them, they go in the direction. And you can put stuff in them. If people find them, well, <laughs> if people find them, they can get the stuff that was in them. And yes, you can shoot them down. My prediction is that it will go in that direction because I, li I lit it from here. Yeah. So you could literally send people stuff, like from base to base or over the wall. If you have some of these and you've raided a base that's inside a compound, you could... Sorry, this has got nothing to do with a trap. I might put this in my own video. Yeah, you could use it to get the stuff out of the compound. Peace loving mung beans. What's up? <laughs> the devil's playing Rust. So what's going on? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just becoming too much damn work. You know, like I've got a hundred emails piling up on my team.